if we see a downside expansion model, if you want to see a downside expansion model, price has to turn around now. Stops are not to be tied, stops are there to close out scenarios you want to trade. Today we're going to focus again on the ES. That's my favorite uh, instrument and everybody who's starting with trading and the DR trading, you really are in a very good space if you trade the ES. There is a reason why I trade ES. So whenever we are talking about Forex, Forex can be very easy manipulated. Everybody has heard about central banks. Everybody heard about the scandals, what we had in the past years. My advice for you guys, whenever you start trading with RDR and you have the possibility, you are in a really good space if you trade the ES. If you want to be doomed to make profit, it's very good if you use the ES. For me, like I want you to understand the basics first. And when you master ES, you literally can trade everything. That's not a problem. You should like always when you trade, you always want to have the probability into your favor. Using an instrument which gives you that favor is just good for you because like you're having a higher probability to make profits. Okay, let's go. We are closing and this is the Sunday opening. What we can see here, and I'm going again, I'm going in detail explaining everything so that you really get a good understanding what are my thoughts and also what are my trades, why I'm placing the trades, what is my thought behind it. So let's go. So we are opening with the gap. Let's see how our ADR will look like. So market continues to go down. A gap is closed only when we reach the closing price from Friday. It's not closed here. It's not closed there. It's really closed for me only when we reach the closing price from Friday. So we open with the downwards gap and now we see a rejection from the gap areas to the tick. Price is continuing to go down. And now we are forming our ADR. So, so far, even when the ADR is not ready yet, like what we can also re already see is this rejection gives you an idea about that the market and the price action tends to be more into the downward area. This already tells you or gives you a hint to expect price action to drive lower. First of all, what I just said, we see that we make a new low box color based on open and close comparison. So let's turn this on. It's also giving us red color. So now we have one hint that we will expect something to the downside because the rejection from the gap area here plus the early indication from open close comparison from the indicator and from DR. We have a little volume imbalance inside of here. So let's see how price will continue now. One volume imbalance, two volume imbalance, three volume imbalance. I would expect something going and closing at least this volume imbalance. There is another one. So already here we can expect that price will retrace, I would say at least up till here to close this one and maybe even going higher to close this volume imbalance. So now we are closing this one. And we are tapping into this one, but it's not completely closed, I would say. Yeah, it is. It's closed. So we see a rejection. So now we can look for a first sh short trade. Let's see how the next candle will look like. So we are rejecting and we are making a new low. So I missed this entry. That was a little bit quick. Maybe when you look into one minute chart, you would have found an entry here. But for me, with the five minute, which I have to stick to, not really an entry yet. Look over here, volume imbalance over here, which we have from the day before. Interesting, right? Always keep an eye peeled for these volume imbalances. They are really gold. Right now, I don't know. There is nothing for me to trade. So let's see how price action will develop. We are bouncing from here, from this volume imbalance. We go up and we don't see a rejection here. We don't see from the idea level. So again, no trade for us to take. So this one is also done. So we go up and now we have the first rejection. So this is looking good to me. Mid IDR rejection. We close the volume imbalance. We don't have any volume imbalances on top of us. Let's take a short trade here and we will have our stop like me. I have my stop two ticks above the mid 
because like if we come higher we most probably see a retirement setup if you want to be sure and you don't want to risk maybe two are like let's say price is coming up here and you want to trade the retirement setup so if you want to make sure that you're not risking too much r per session you could put your stop somewhere here but like let's see what we have as a target so um where are my standard deviations would be down here but i nah i would say like a real low hanging fruit would be this here but this is only one to eight so you can trade this one to eight is okay but i would rather prefer to have it at 2.0 my trade that's the reason why i would have my stop over here my target would be a new low yeah potentially even this low but i would go for low hanging fruit in this case so let's see first trade let's see how it works out so nice next candle rejects now from this volume imbalance you see to the tick not going above our stop levels now the next candle is not even able to go above the dr level anymore rejection from the dr level here and like you see how the the volume imbalance is lining up together with the dr level and how price is reacting over there close above dr so that would be something you can already think about moving a stop maybe on entry i don't want to do this right now so let's see almost stopped out for me again we are going into the volume imbalance here and now are we stopped out yes i'm stopped out now that was the first trade so same setup i don't want to trade it again i want to see the next candle so now we are getting a rejection from the opening price but i want to see another candle maybe we are closing below the volume imbalance again i don't want to take it right now so now we have a volume imbalance over here so i still don't want to trade it because it's not clear yet whenever you see a volume imbalance so we have a strong move from we have a strong bounce from over here we're not able to keep the DR low levels clean. So we're coming up here. So still nothing I want to trade. Okay, now I have to take it. So two times we're coming here. We are not able to take out the levels over here. So that you know, when I'm trading and I'm doing it the same in the back testing. So I'm allowing myself a maximum of minus 2R for any DR session I'm trading. So if we should lose here, the session is done for me. I'm not going to trade in this session anymore and we will go to the next one. So we're going to enter here and we will have our stop this time two ticks above this high and our target would be a new low. So let's see how this turns out. In my view, I have to take it. We have the confirmation to the short side. So we are looking for a short entry. This could be classified already as a retirement setup. But for a retirement setup, I like to have it more close to the DR, IDR levels. But this is technically could be classified as a, as a retirement setup. So let's see. We are keeping the opening price line. Um, we are going directly below the mid price and we are rejecting from there. So everything fine so far. We are retracing again. We are bouncing now from the DR levels. Trade was already, already 1R and plus. I don't like this bounce, so let's put our stop on entry. So stop goes where we entered. And we are getting stopped out again. Okay, one more time stopped out. Let's see. So now we have retirement setup. So I will enter for the retirement setup. Stop two ticks above the DR levels. Target new low. What time is it? yeah we st we have still two hours time so all fine again if i lose this trade i'm not gonna trade this session anymore so so far nice rejection keeps going i'm not drawing out every volume imbalance but here again volume imbalance we are rejecting from here so i expect price to move back into this area so at least i will get a retracement can happen that we will bounce from here but I'm looking at this I'm when I'm trading, I'm not having them on my chart. I just see it. So here is the moment where you have to be a little bit worried about your trade because you see a bounce from the volume imbalance. 
but now we are going below so everything is fine. We are breaking the opening price which is also in line with the volume imbalance over here. So now we go below, now we are even below the mid price. So everything looks good so far for the trade. We are staying below the mid price, so it's okay. And we are staying still below, but we are not really going down more. We are rejecting from the IDR levels. Now it's 105, so we have another 50 minutes left for this trade. I like this rejection over here, so we go down. We try again to come up, but as you can see, price is not able to reach this level. We are trying to get lower, but we are not able right now to go lower. So we don't have support in price action for the lower prices, but also we don't have support to go higher. So we have clear rejection from this upper area, not even one body close below, above this level. So that's positive, but let's see. So now it's 145, we are reaching the lower DR levels. So rejection from the low IDR. So what I will do now is put the stop on entry because we are coming close to the end of the session. I will keep this trade and see how it will play out. Again, here we have volume imbalance and another volume imbalance. So stop goes on entry, so we can't lose with this trade anymore. So that's our stop level. And let's go. So nice rejection from the volume imbalance. We are staying now below opening and the mid DR levels. Rejection from the volume imbalance over here. First time we are closing below the IDR levels again. Taking out this relative equal lows. So if the market wants to turn, it, it's going to turn now. That would have been already like, you could have taken the same trade and you can take it out here. That would be 2R and below here it would be 2.7, but we are waiting for this. So now we have the opposites, like we are rejecting now clearly from the lower DR levels, but still we are not having the power to go lower here. Volume imbalance again, volume imbalance. That tells you like when you see this, now we're going to see another retracement to the upside. We close all these volume imbalances and now we are in the ODR session. So we're going lower, lower. We are not reaching the low yet. So we are bouncing back. Our stop is on entry, so we don't really care what is happening right now. Goes higher. Now we're coming close to our stop losses. So what do we have here? We have our mid RDR. If we see a downside expansion model, if you want to see a downside expansion model, price has to turn around now. We have a nice rejection. There is also the volume imbalance over here. So as you can see, to the tick, we are rejecting from here. So if we want to see downside expansion, price should not come and close above the 50% from the previous DR session. So what I'm going to do now, um, new session, so I can't lose with this trade anymore. So I'll take an additional short trade here. Stop. We're going to put one, two ticks above the mid RDR and target will be the same over here. So the reason behind is relationship between ADR, ODR and um, RDR. What I expect now to happening is that we will see a downside expansion model. If I'm wrong, that's fine. So what we will see then instead is a range expansion model. So we will be choppy for the rest of the day, but for now, I like the price section, I like the rejection from the gap levels over here, I like the rejection over here, I like this rejection, this rejection, this. We are driving down. I don't think that this relative equal lows will be not taken out, it's just too juicy. Um, if you look at the past price action, so we had seen a big up move, so there is not a lot of liquidity over here. So I would rather bet on a down expansion model than I would expect a range expansion model. But we will know for sure very soon. So we have five minutes. That's the last. So technically ODR is not closed yet. 
but I still use this for another trade based on what you see over here. So let's see how it will go. Okay, that's a nice candle. So we are not hitting my targets. So let's put also the stop from this trade on entry. So both of the trades are risk free. And let's hope that we will get down now. So here we're getting filled. We didn't close above. So this, this doesn't count as a close above, by the way. Whenever you see a candle like this, this is the opening price. So when we're looking to the upper side of the DR, a close must be a green candle. It can't be a black candle because that's an opening price, not a closing price. I was right expecting a downside expansion model and taking this trade was also right. So as you can see, this time we are already stepping up the game a little bit and we are working with the relationships in between. So that's in total 12.5 minus one. So we are now at plus 11.5 R. You know, people like when they see my chart or when they see me uh, talking about something, they're saying like, is it realistic to have a stop like that? Yeah, of course you can take your stop up here. It doesn't matter, like the R will be, will be lower. But like why I have my stop there is very simple about what I just explained to you. So if I see that and I know like if we see a close above that, I know that we will not see a range expansion model to the downside, right? I'm already expecting or like the trade I'm placing here is based on the assumption that based on the previous price action I have seen over here, that we will keep this rule intact with not closing above the mid of the ADR. That's the whole point. So when I'm thinking in this way, it doesn't make sense for me to have my stop up here. Because like when we go up here, my complete idea, my whole trade idea I had, my scenario I am trading is, is not valid anymore. We can argue about should it be two ticks or should it be maybe a little bit so that we can survive a week over here. But for me, that's, that's just how I'm taking my trades. It's just based on the idea that my scenario will become true. And that's trading at the end of the day. You see a scenario and you trade the scenario. If you're wrong, you're getting stopped out. That's it. Fine. If you're right, your scenario will come true like it did in this case. Yeah. Lucky. Maybe there was some news. I don't know. No, it's not even a news time. Maybe some European news. I don't know. Lucky that it happened in one candle, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Close above here takes out my range expansion model to the downside or my downside expansion model. And by that, that's why I put a stop over there. Because then I know, okay, I was wrong. My scenario will not become true. And if I get only wicked out, let's see, we have a wick over here and it stops me out and we go below there. I just take the trade again. Stops are not to be tied. Stops are there to close out scenarios you want to trade.